Hey Sisteritas! Welcome back to the Sisterita Club. It's Jessica here. I wanted to share with you Sisteritas the Busy Moms Bible. And I've been keeping my eye on this Bible for quite some time and my life is just super busy as I'm sure all of you are experiencing during this crazy year of 2020 and as well as being a busy mom. And so I went ahead and I purchased this awesome Bible and I wanted to share with you Sister Rita's all about it. I'm super excited. I'm actually going to start reading this tonight and comment below and tell me, do you do your quiet time with the Lord in the morning or in the evening? Do you do it during your lunch break or do you read a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, a little bit in the evening? How do you break it up? I've realized in my life that it's never been fully consistent the time wise, but my quiet time with God is consistent. So if that makes any sense, but um, I wanted to get this Bible because, well, I'll show you why. So uh, daily inspiration, even if you only have a minute, like how encouraging is that? Let me just start by saying that because we are really crazy and I would rather have one minute with God, then no time with God. So don't feel guilty if you're in a season where you only have five minutes. You have five minutes and that beats no minutes. Okay, so remember that. Now, I'll start by saying I love this cover. I just think it's so cute because it encapsulates really a busy woman. So you've got your morning cup of coffee right there. You've got your cute little succulent and your paper clips because you're working or you have your grocery list and your bills. You've got your list right here, the washi tape. Love it, I learned how to say it. And you're taking photos of your kids. Your life is just jam-packed busy. You've got your watch, your pencils, and your computer. And I just love the cover. I think it's super cute. This is an NIV version by Zondra Van. And I love NIV. So NIV is the new international version. It's really readable, in my opinion. And take a note, it's a comfort print. It is able to lay flat and I really like that feature. So when I show you the Bible, we'll take a look at that. I also wanted to say I'm discovering this with you Sisterita. So this just came in my mail from Amazon and I just got it this afternoon and I was waiting to do this video. So I haven't even opened it up. So we get to experience that joy together, which I'm super excited about. Now, you'll see on the price tag, it's $29.99. I got it on Amazon for 23 and then there was one of those like little coupons that I clipped on Amazon and I got $3 off. So I got it for about $20, which $20 is $20. We all work really hard, but comparatively speaking for a Bible, I think that's a pretty good price. And the color is teal, which you'll see it's this pretty uh, teal color right here. And uh, the words are red for when Jesus is speaking. And um, also there's some really nice features. So uh, let you take a look at this. There's 52 devotionals. And you'll have the option of having a one minute, a five minute, or a 10 minute option to what you want to do with your devotional. So we'll take a look at that. And there's a pretty satin ribbon, nine point font. Here's a little bit of a description, so I'm going to capture this so that you can stop the video, take a look, and read this if you want. All right, and it's not like a hard case, it's just almost like a little paper flap, and we'll get into it. So let me open this up, and we'll see what we've got here. All right, so this is one thing that I noticed on Amazon that I thought was super cute. I love the little flower imprint right here, and you can feel the um, imprint right here. So that's really pretty. I just think that's really cute. It lays flat, right? And, um, well, once you've, like, broken it in, it'll lay flat, as you can see. And it's a really nice size. So it's not like a really huge, big, and bulky Bible. And actually, I'm going to show you right here. 
bear with me, sisteritos, so you can see the difference here. I just wanted to show you that this is my Jesus Bible. So you can see that this is a, a lot flatter and it's just not as cumbersome as this Bible. And okay, that's one reason why I liked this Bible is because you're a busy mom, right? Just like the cover says. And so you can carry this in your purse. This will be able to fit in your purse much easier than this big heavy Bible. So that was a feature that I really liked about this. And you know, if you have sports games for your kids, ballet, recitals, school recitals, if you go to the uh, park, you know, whatever you're doing out and about, you can take this easily with you and do one of your devotions. So um, you'll see it says the Busy Moms Bible right here, NIV, and then it's just a really pretty soft leather Bible. It's really soft. It's really pretty. Here's the ISBN number right there, and it's leather soft, and it is really, really soft. I can't say that enough. So here's the presentation page, Sister Rita's. I think that's really cute. I think it's pretty. It's like a peachy kind of color. I think that's really pretty. This is the actual like first entry page. So you see like the pretty flowers. Super pretty. All right, and then we'll get right into this. So, how to use your busy mom's Bible. So let me show you this. So you're gonna find 52 one minute thought starters. So um, that will let you like dip into God's word for a minute of refreshment. And then the devotional thoughts cover 13 general topics and many subtopics of special interest for the busy mom. And there are, th are two one minute thought starters per page. So you might just read one or one per week. Memorize the verse if you wish. Note the word to take with you today so you can reflect, pray, study. Um, there's a reflect and pray section. So I'll let you take a look at that later. Um, your entry page. I do want to say I really like the silver um, shiny little pages on the side. And then the it's rounded over here. And you do have one satin ribbon that's really pretty. And you have your table of contents. So it is Old Testament and it is New Testament. And you have your alphabetical order, your preface. So we're moving right along. I'm super excited. Ah! I'm going to start reading this tonight for sure. You've got the Old Testament, and then here we go, right into Genesis. So let's see where these devotions are. I noticed that you have the two columns. So a lot of people like the two columns. Um, that way you're not like feeling like you're getting bored reading across the page. I actually like that, and I've heard a lot of commentators say that. So actually, I didn't really mention it in one of my videos, but one of the reasons why I did end up reading the Bible cover to cover before and then ever since then, I've done that every year is because I used to be, and I still am, a really avid reader. So I used to read about 50 books a, a year. No joke, like 50 to 55 books a year. And then I thought to myself about feeling, I was feeling convicted because I was thinking, how can I read all of these books? Like, and big ones too, like Outlander, Gone with the Wind, like really big with thick books, but I can't seem to read the Word of God. And so... I felt really convicted about that and I started reading the Bible and you know what? The Bible is literally the best book and I'm not just trying to say that because obviously it's the Word of God and we love learning about the Lord, but I just mean you have everything from romance and um, and love, the love story of the Lord from us, and you've got war, and you've got marriage, and you've got like crazy people in the book. You've got a talking donkey. So, I mean, you just have um, all of these amazing adventurous stories. You travel in the Bible. So, it's really a wonderful story as well as learning the plan of salvation and God's purpose for you. And so, that's one reason why I liked reading it chronologically, and I'm kind of going off on a rabbit trail, but that was all to say that I like these two columns because even if in the when you're reading a novel and it's like straight across, which some Bibles are, I feel like with the Bible, I like it being in the columns because it just kind of holds my attention a little bit more, probably because the words are so tiny. I don't know why. Maybe that's silly. Let me know what your thoughts are, but 
anyways, let's move on because you don't want to hear about all of that, I'm sure. So we're going to keep going and then let's find one of these devotions. So um, they, they said that there was quite a few in here. So I'm just going to go through. You can hear the pages because here we go. All right, so we'll go into 1 Samuel. All right, so here it is. You've got your devotion, so you can pick this one minute or a five minute and pray or 10 minutes and study. So that's really cool. So that is awesome. And it's a great devotional. And then you can, like for example, for 10 minutes, you would study, turn to page 1080 for additional verses on God is. Look up and pray through some of the verses to learn more on this topic. So it really walks you through that. I love it. I was just wondering if the first devotion was in 1 Samuel. But there's a lot of devotions that the Bible gives you, so that doesn't bother me. There's 52 devotions, so even if you use this Bible to just start out with just doing the devotions, 52 is going to take you quite some time. And then you could also go back and read um, up until that point as well. So here's this topic, Powerful Sustainer. And then you can um, learn the devotion on that. And then this is the verse that you can memorize. So that gives you, Sister Rita's, an idea. And then there's themes like family ties, God is. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm not going to go through every single one because you have to go and buy the Bible for that. Just teasing. But you get the idea and I wanted to show you that. So that's, that's the Bible there. And then also five minute reading about the women of the Bible. That's a really cool feature because we are women and we want to dive into other women within the Bible. I love that. So you could just stick to your devotions and get through the work through the Bible that way or you could um, dive in deep and find out about Eve or Naomi. Um, you could just definitely dive in and learn a little bit about that and then go into these pages and read these verses. I like that. I think that's awesome. And then let's see if I missed a page. Okay, five minute reading about Jesus. Sorry, now I'm kind of going backwards. But like I said, I'm going through this with you all, Sister Rita's. And when you see the Bible on Amazon and you only get like four pictures, <laughs> you don't really get to see it all completely. So I'm really delving in with you all. So let me actually back up just a little bit and see. Um, so this is awesome. So they have an index. Look at this. Raising your kids. And they give you topics. That is awesome. Your marriage. And then they give you topics. Oh my gosh. I think that this just might be my one of my favorite Bibles. God is coming again. This is the study index. So there are a lot of extra features in here that like the reviews on Amazon didn't even really delve into. So you have a lot to do with this Bible. Like you have a lot that you can go through that will keep you excited and engaged. Your identity in Christ. Oh, aging. Okay, I think every woman needs to read that. That might be the first thing that I do, right? Um, so yeah, so this is awesome. All right, Sister Rita's, let me know what you think. And um, I like this one. Sorry, I'm just like going on a woman of character, the attitude. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delve in. I think that this is awesome. And um, I'm really excited. And I hope that this gave you, Sister Rita's, an idea. Have you ever heard of this Bible? I am really excited that I found it. And then hopefully it gives you a good idea and helps you to get inspired and excited about reading the Word of God because guess what? We all have one minute and that's the last thing I'll say. You have one minute that you can spare to be in the Word of God and maybe that one minute will turn into five and maybe that five minutes will turn into ten and then the next thing you know you might just be soaking up God's Word and you can't get enough of it because it is something to be cherished and it'll change your life and we want to be close to the Lord. So 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, Sisteritas. If you are not a Sisterita, you can change that today by subscribing and then click that bell. That way you'll be up to date on everything in the Sisterita Club. And everything that we post in the Sisterita Club will bring you value and it'll enrich your life and bring you joy. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you become a Sisterita. All right. Bye, Sisteritas. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Love you. God bless.